Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have some more Dollar Tree DIYs today. And I'm going to use some super glue, wood glue from Dollar Tree for this first DIY. And then I have three of the nesting boxes in three different sizes. And I'm making sure that the wee handle, the hardware part at the front is all facing the same way. And then I turn them over and I glue the medium sized one to the bigger one and then the smallest one on top and then I wipe away any excess glue and I try and make sure they are centered and then I stain them with some early American wood stain you can choose whatever color you want or you could leave them plain and this is how it turned out it's just that easy simple DIY you could put home sweet home in those hardware bits you could decorate it some more but I just wanted to leave it simple. And I will link the greenery uh, down below because I got it from Amazon. So I have this little hexagon welcome sign and I'm just using my Cricut tool to take the metal welcome off because I want to keep it flat because I'm going to use that part and I'll use the wooden part and in the future. I'm just scraping off all the extra paper off the back Then I painted it with some mineral Waverly chalk paint and I have this live, love, laugh sign and I just unscrew in the love off the front of it and then I gave it a wee sand and then I pulled the paper off and it came off so easy this time. <laughs> and then I painted it with the ink Waverly chalk paint over the entire thing. And I'm going to use one of these self-adhesive tiles from Dollar Tree to cover the front. And I want the middle of the tile to be in the middle of the circle. So I have to see where that would be. And then I'm just going to stick it down. And then use my Cricut tool to make a fold in the bottom. And then I use my X-Acto knife to cut it. And then I just trimmed off the excess with some scissors. I've had this tile for ages and didn't know what I was going to do with it. And I found it the other day, so I had to use it. But I haven't found the nice new tiles that I've seen other people using. So hopefully I'll find them soon. And I have some metal ribbon. Don't mind Ethan. <laughs> and... Um, just measuring how much I want to use and I only want the little band part that's on it so I'm going to cut off the leaf parts with some scissors and I will keep that and use it for later but be careful because it's really sharp once you've cut it I just wanted this part and just checking that it fits and I was going to hammer it on, but I decided just to hot glue it. <laughs> you should probably use a stronger glue than the hot glue. But I'm just rushing for the video. <laughs> well, it stayed on so far, so... But I don't know how long it'll last. Of course, you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. I just thought I needed something else. Or if you have something that would work better, you could use that. And I'm going to use some super glue to glue on the next part. And that is the we welcome sign. Also, this would look nice without the welcome part on it. And I used the mineral paint because I didn't want it to be too bright on it. If I used like the plaster or something. And this is how it turned out. When you look at it without the light shining on it, you can see the welcome clearly, but it's not showing up as well on camera. I'm using some wood glue for this next DIY. And I have one of these little 
square planks from Dollar Tree and I'm just gluing uh, four wee beads to the corners and then I stained it with the early American wood stain and I have this unicorn sign I had for ages and then I painted it with the mountain blue apple barrel paint and I'm going to use some metal ribbon and I'm just going to measure how much I would need. I need four pieces. So I'm just checking. I want the pattern to be even on both sides. So I just trim it down with some scissors and it cuts really easy, easily. And then I do the other two sides. And just leave it a wee bit longer on the sides so that you can fold it over. And I got these wee nails on Amazon. I'll link them down below. And they're really small and fiddly, but at least your uh, metal ribbon stays on. And I just use some wee tweezers to hold it and then hammer them in. And you can use glue if you want to, but for if I'm going to stick these to wood, the metal ribbon to wood, then I'm going to use the wee nails. So I just hammer it a few times, a few nails all the way along, and then it should sit nice and flat. I need a smaller hammer. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'll look for that uh, a smaller hammer. That'll be easier for next time. And then when you get to the end, mine's just a bit long, so I trimmed it down, and then I just hammered it around the edge. So I did the other side off camera, and then I'm gonna do another piece but I shouldn't have hammered in the ends yet because I have to take the nails out so that the melt ribbon on top will sit a bit flatter I see here I didn't work with the tweezers so I pulled it out it came out easy and then I just put it back in on top And I put an extra one in. Oh, and another one there. <laughs> and then I just hammered the metal ribbon around it. And I'll finish off the other side and then I'll do the bottom piece off camera. And this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to use some wood glue to glue the wooden piece on in the middle. And then I printed off a fleur de lis. Obviously I'm not pronouncing it properly. <laughs> and uh, on my Cricut. And I'm just going to stick that down and make a stencil. And use the mountain blue paint again to paint it on 
and I use a makeup sponge just to dab the paint on and I picked this because I made it for my boyfriend and he's a St. Louis and this is their symbol so I made that for him and blue is his favourite colour. <laughs> And I just used the Dollar Tree, um, what's it called, vinyl for this on the washi tape setting. And I'll link the transfer tape down below because this one works, works good with it. And since the nails stick out the back, I'm using some cork and I'm just going to trim it down and then stick it. And I just measured where I wanted to cut it and then I just cut it with an exacto knife I just peel off the back and then stick it down and then you won't feel the nails <laughs> and this is how it turned out and I think it turned out so pretty I'm not sure if this one is my favourite or the next DIY. Have another one of these signs. This one says follow your dreams. So I'm just going to take the dreams off. And the paper did not come off easy on this one. <laughs> so I finish it off camera. And then I painted it with the Nutmeg Waverly chalk paint, except the stand part, I left that. And I'm going to use this burlap ribbon and I'm just going to glue it all around the outside of the circle. I just glue that with some hot glue. I love these ribbons. I wish I could find the other burlap ribbons. They have like a white circle in them. There's like three different ones. I can, I've been looking for them for ages, can never find them. So I hope I find them soon. Because <laughs> I don't really want to order a case of them. But I might. And then I burned the wee hairs off with a lighter. And I used some plaster Waverly chalk paint for the next part. And I printed off a moon on my Cricut. So I'm just going to stick that down. And I forgot that I was making a stencil. And I trimmed far too much <laughs> off of the outside of it. So I just cover it with some masking tape. And you'll see me do that in the next clip. I just pull off the transfer tape and I don't want to come off that easy. <laughs> so here I am, I just put some masking tape on. I could have just been really careful and still painted it, but I don't want to mess up at all because sometimes I do. And then I'm just using a makeup sponge to dab on the paint. And before it dries, I take off the excess vinyl and masking tape and then I just start weeding it with the Cricut tool. You can get these tools at Dollar Tree as well. Ethan just <laughs> loves coming in and just playing with stuff. And any new DIYs I made, you want to play with them. <laughs> and now you can see one of the DIYs I was trying to make that didn't work out. <laughs> 
So this is how it turned out and I think it turned out so pretty. I just love moons. And uh, I'm not sure if this one or the last one is my favourite. I bought these glass stickers and the only thing they would fit on was this piece of wood. Because <laughs> obviously I didn't want to use them for glass. And uh, I just started sticking them down. And then just trimming off if there was any wee bits hanging off the end. And I put them close together at first, but then I decided to spread them out. And I don't know how long they'll last being sticky for, but if you, you should probably put some extra glue on. Just to make sure they stay in place. And I had no idea what was where I was going with this DIY, I just wanted to use them. But these ones are pretty. Uh, I wish they would just come out with stickers with these patterns, big long ones. That would be nice. And this is where I decided to rearrange it and spread it out a bit more. And I'm using the nutmeg paint again. And I just painted it on and then I wiped off the excess so you could still see the silver through it. You could put that on on top if you wanted to. I was going to paint it all and then I decided to wipe some off. <laughs> so now I'm just using the middle the middle um, ribbon out of that pack of three burlap ribbons and I'm just hot gluing it around the edge just to make it look more finished. Just watch you don't burn your fingers because if you put too much it seeps through. And then I just trim off the end and glue it down. And then I burnt all the wee hairs and to fix that bit. And be careful when you're burning it. You know, to get one of the long lighters from Dollar Tree. I do have one in the kitchen. I always forget to go grab it. But my friends always really kindly leave lighters at my house because I don't smoke. <laughs> so it's good when they leave them. And then I just I beaded up some twine and I'm just making a hanger for the back with some hot glue and a popsicle stick and this is how it turned out it doesn't look as good on camera it looks much nicer in person but let me know which one of these DIYs is your favorite thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye